Welcome to Nova Scotia. So Nova Scotia is actually a uh, one of the special provinces to me. I've been there quite a few times in my life. I do because I have family that lives there. And I absolutely love, and I think I've mentioned it with one of the other Atlantic provinces, the seafood. <laughs> it's like so fresh, so much more inexpensive than being inland in Canada, <laughs> which totally makes sense. And it's absolutely gorgeous. Fun fact about Nova Scotia, if you look at the Canadian dime, the 10 cents piece, you'll see a sailboat on it. That is actually the Blue Nose, and it came from Nova Scotia. So there you go, it's forever memor memorialized on one of our coins. So the dish that I'm doing today is actually one that I have surprisingly never heard of, <laughs> and it's called the Halifax Donaire. Um, Halifax is the capital city of Nova Scotia, and it's a nice big city. And I guess the Donaire is pretty famous there. <laughs> I was kind of shocked when I looked this up and researched it, and it's actually got quite an interesting history to it. And I'm going to actually put a link down below in the description box to uh, if you want to find out more about the Halifax Donaire and how it came to be. Let's go over and make it so we can give this a taste. Okay, first thing you want to do is add your ground beef to the bowl. Next, we're going to add our spices to the um, ground beef. Order doesn't really matter, but I start here with cayenne pepper. Black pepper is next. Some onion powder. Garlic powder. Salt. Paprika. And finally some dried oregano. Make sure you give it a very good stir, making sure all the spices are as evenly distributed as possible. Once those ingredients are all mixed up well, you're going to want to form it in the shape of a loaf, cover it with plastic wrap, and put it in the fridge overnight. That's done, you're going to want to make the sauce. Here I use Sweden condensed milk. You then add the vinegar to that. And some garlic powder. Give that a good stir, getting the vinegar and garlic powder well incorporated into the condensed milk. And again, put that in the fridge and leave it overnight. The next day you wanna bake your loaf, then once that's all baked, cut it up into slices so that we can pan fry. So your next, you're gonna to wanna to pan fry each slice about five minutes on each side. Yes, I know that sounds like a long time and I was kind of hesitant at first too, but trust me, it's gonna work out. Once that's ready, we're gonna to wanna to form our donaire. So we start by adding the meat on top of our tortilla. Next, we're gonna add the donaire sauce. And 
and I wanted to keep it as traditional as I possibly could. So uh, the only toppings I added were diced tomatoes, fresh, and some roughly diced onions. Time to wrap. I think I need a little bit more practice for this. <laughs> That's actually pretty good. The meat is pretty spicy, but it's actually it's actually balanced out really nicely with the sauce. The sauce is a little sweet in my opinion, but I did actually find another recipe that uses evaporated milk instead of condensed milk and sugar. So then that way you can control the sugar amount a little bit better. So that one might be worth trying as well as maybe next time I would add a little bit more vinegar if I still use the condensed milk. Um, that's definitely an option to help with that, uh, but other than that, it's good. Definitely, you do want to leave it overnight because the longer it sits, the better. Like, I definitely noticed a difference when I tried the sauce when I first made it versus leaving it alone. <laughs> it definitely, um, the vinegar kind of melds better with the sweetness, and that also brings the sweetness down a little bit. So... Just an FYI, you might want to give that a try first. Yeah, that's that's if you're not used to this, especially like the sweet was a little bit of a shock for me. But as I said, the meat is pretty spicy just on its own. So you do kind of need that balance to help mellow out the spice of the meat. <laughs> um, and it does all kind of come together surprisingly well. I was a little hesitant when I saw sweet and condensed milk um, being the main ingredient. But yeah, it's actually, it's, it's works really well together. <laughs> Next up, we'll be visiting the final of Canada's 10 provinces before we head up to the territories. We'll be visiting Newfoundland and Labrador. See you there. <laughs>